with packing paper, some paint art, uh, this is folk, folk art, metallic pure gold, emerald green metallic, and amethyst metallic. And we're gonna use some black, this is just a generic Nichols Craft Studios the black paint and that we will also use the resin and I also have my image that I will be using here is a group 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 how do you pronounce it but he is my little friend I love him and this is water slide paper so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take this and we're gonna wet it up it's gonna be like this okay so this is what we're gonna do so first you want to take your I like to take the packet paper to make sure it's bigger than the cup you see and plenty to go around in case of tears and rips and mess ups and extra for afterwards that you can still use it those things in and I'm gonna do two of them you can do it for like um, to put them in your journals you can also use the extra to make tags you can use the extra to I don't know put them inside some resin coasters or something so here we go we first you're gonna to make a mess by adding some water this is just regular tap water and just get it on and mix it around you will make a little bit of water around here but that's okay you can put it in your hand do all this try not to um, go really hard and aggressive on it because you can rip it and you don't want it to rip you just want it to gently squeeze it you will get a little tear here and there sometimes and uh, you see how I'm doing it I'm really squeezing and moving it so I'm gonna leave that there for a minute and we're gonna just put a little bit of water in here as I make a mess I told you the water part is a mess and you just squeeze it in you can have a bucket underneath it to catch all your water okay so these two are done all right now if you have extra water, you can squeeze it in your trash can, your sink, or whatever you have nearby. But there is no extra, so here we go. We're going to gently, gently open it up. Just gently open it up. And that's how it's going to be, okay? Gently, gently. That's all you have to do for this part. Now you can let it sit overnight, let it dry. So you're gonna let it uh, dry overnight or you can take your heat gun and just dry it up a little. Okay, that should be fine for now. Let me take this one and move it out of the way, let it completely dry. And I'm gonna put this like this 
So now, yeah, it's still good. See, it's still good. I'm gonna keep that. You want to take your black. As you see, it's still a little damp. The reason why I wet it is because I want to, first of all, I want it to make it easier to crumble when I paint it. And then I also wanted to make these little uh, creases in the paint, I mean the paper. So you can just pour it on or paint it on, but you want it to go all over your paper. Just, just mix it all around. And you don't have, I'm trying to go for the grunge look. You can go in any way you want. If you want to make it lighter colors and use a different image, that is your choice. You can use stickers, you can use water slide, you can use any, you can get it from like the dollar store ones. It's up to you. I can, I also printed it out on, um, uh, copy paper and it worked as well you just got to do some treatment to it water slide when you print out on your water slide you have to make a treat do a treatment on it a treatment to me is called I call it a treatment meaning that you have to spray a sealant over it so your image won't bleed because as soon as you put it in water, your image, if you don't cover it with sealant, your image will just, the ink will just come right off of it. So you don't want to do all that and get to the point when you start putting it in the water to come off onto your cup and you lost all your ink. Yeah, we don't want to do that. But if you have a laser, a laser um, printer you will have no problem you could just print it out and go from there okay so this you will you want to let it dry a little bit in between so now let's dry just a little Now I'm not drying the paper all the way. All I'm doing is drying the paint that's on top. That's all. Because I still want it to be a little flexible so I can work with, with it. But before you put it on the cup, you're gonna let it dry completely anyway. So now we're gonna try, we're gonna use um, the emerald green or any kind of paint you want I'm going to use my finger covers and just pour some on my finger and just go over it like that in all anywhere you want all over the page I mean um your canvas or your paper don't worry about how you do it because I'm going to show you if you like put too much I'm going to show you what you can do you see how that's not mixed around enough what you want to do I'm going to take a paper towel wet it up a little and what you do is just Mix it around like this. That's it. You all you're doing is just moving it around. You are taking it off a little, but that's okay because you're still mixing it around and you got that color still a little bit on there. You see it's still there. It's just not in your face. That's all. Now let's do the purple. There you go. I'm just going to put a little bit here, here. Now 
you don't have to rub it. You can just dab it around. But be careful that you got to remember that your paper is still wet. As soon as you put your hand down, you could do just like I did. I pulled the paper up a little bit. That's why they say let it dry. Well, that's why I'm saying let it dry, not they. Because nobody's ever told me how to dry dry this or do this. So, now I want to put some gold in there. Okay, I can work with this. I mean, to me, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is just the background. I mean, if you can do it on your cup like this, go for it. But yeah, I know for a fact. That I will not be able to put this on here and still have all those creases so let's dry it up just a little bit okay now okay guys so now you want to make sure this is dry But I'm going to go through the next step. What you need to do is to just put a little bit. Let me get this. I'm going to try to do this. Just put it on your, your brush. You can use any brush, but I'm going to use this. And flick it. You will get paint everywhere. So try to get it in an area where it doesn't matter where the paint goes. You just don't do that, but flick it. I could do this, but I'm trying not to get it everywhere. Okay, I'm just doing the white to make it look like stars. Okay, so now you want to take that and you want to let it <clears throat> dry. I prefer to let it dry overnight. It'll be easier. So I'm going to move this over out of the way. Okay, so when you get it, you have it dried, it's been overnight. This one I did not do the splashes. But before I do the splashes on here, before I do the splashes on here, I want to tell you that I want you to take it to be like this. I want you to take it when it's dry and just crumble it up again. After it's totally dry, crumble it so you can still get those wrinkles and make sure you let it dry because I tried to do it before it was dry before it dried let me show you what happened it stuck to each other so you don't want it to do that so make sure it's dry now I want to do some paint flash it on this one Just flick it. There's no rhyme or reason. Just flick it. And that's good enough. Okay. So, before we go any farther, I want you to do something. I'm going to let this dry a little bit. 
just gonna let that dry a little bit. Now get your <clears throat> your image. If this is on water slide, it's inkjet clear water slide. And you can get the ones that's not clear. So you want to seal this. I'm using matte clear sealant. So let me get something to put down so I don't get it all over the place. There you go. You do it one way like this. Let it dry completely. Okay. When it dries, you want to let it dry. You want to turn it and just spray it again. But I already did my three times, so I'm not going to do it anymore. This, your second time, just spray it this way. Let it dry. Turn it. Do it again like this. Let it dry. Set it to the side until you're ready for it. Now, we are going to work with this. Now we need our Mod Pod, Mod Podge. I put it in my little container you can get from the dollar store. I'm gonna get rid of my black one. Paintbrush. And now you, what you wanna do, your tumbler, you should have it sprayed a day before to make it easier. You don't have to, but I chose to do it black just in case this rips, tears, and leaves any openings, but really you don't have to do anything to it. So let's just do some mop pot all over it. You want to make sure it's all over it. Again, make sure it's all the way up to the edge. Cover it with Mod Podge. So, stick it in the middle of your paper. Well, not the middle, middle of the edge. Well, yeah, middle. Push it down. Make sure it's even enough to go around it. I suggest you leave it open like this. Will it be easier for you? Just make sure you push it all down. So it'll dry. That's my white paint that wasn't totally dry, but it's all good. You're going to take your scissors and just cut it. Just cut it right there. Okay, you're gonna have a little crease, but that's okay. Cause you can always trim it up more. What I why I did that way is so you can make sure you have a good seal to it. So push it down. show you what you do when you want to seal this down just like that okay if you need more Mod Podge just put it on there I was more than I needed but still just push it down put some down here It's completely down. Now let's do the top.
you can just seal it over top like this. And that is no big deal. You can barely even see it. Okay? And this gives you a nice grungy look on your cup. And what you do is you let this dry. And you can go over the edges with more Mod Podge. Just take it. Stick it inside like this. Push it down. Push it down here as well. So what do you guys think so far? Does it look grungy? And that's all you do right now. You can let it dry completely. Okay. And you can just cut the edges off. And you see that extra piece right there that's open? Don't worry, just put some Mod Podge there and push it down. And do you see how, you see the little spaces here? This is the reason why I paint mine black is because my base is black in general. You, can, you can't see, now if this was white or silver or any other color, you will see the cup there. So because I painted it black, you can't tell. And that's it, now you do the top. I prefer you to wait till it's dry because it's easier to cut. You won't pull it up. But due to video purpose, I'm just going to cut it while it's still wet. But you see how it's still not stuck to the cup? Again, take your Mod Podge brush. Put some on there at least. Get it around the edge of the cup, push it down. There you go. Make sure it's down. And now you have it completely down, right? Just push it on your cup to make sure it's down. And now, put some Mod Podge over it. This is going to help seal it if there's any cracks in your paper. Okay? It's also going to help seal your paint that's on it. And you know how this, you have to let Mod Podge dry. Go over the edges so nothing goes up underneath it. I'm just going to put Mod Podge underneath it since. Make sure you bring it all the way up. There's a little spot there that needs it. Push it down. Okay, now you're going to let that dry. We'll come back when it's dry. Okay, guys, it's now epoxy time. I let this dry for several hours. Let's turn it on. Oops. 
And now you just put epoxy on it and you gotta let that dry. Just do small amount. You don't have to put so much on it because I will be doing another layer when I get um, when I put the, the sticker on or the water slide on. So you need to have this light enough to cover. I mean, you have to have it enough to cover the little grooves, but you don't want to put so so thick of it on there because that's just a waste. So you just, like I said, just enough on there to even it over the grooves you gotta make sure because I can tell that it's not going in the grooves I gotta make sure I push it in don't forget to get your bottom okay I covered it now I just want to try to level it out Like I said, you don't need very much because this will level, but I'm just making sure it's all over it and I can tell that it's not. What do you guys think so far? Like I said, you will be putting another layer over. So even if you miss any uh, spots right now, you will go over it again. So it'd be no big deal. Okay, so now we want, I want to move this out of the way. Want to use the heat gun? Oh, got to plug it in. Okay, guys. Let this dry and then it'll be sticker time or to put your decal on. Okay guys, now here is the cup and it's epoxied and I can see that I need more epoxy here but that's fine because I'm going over it anyway. So now we're going to take this water slide and we're going to put it here. but. Because it's clear for me, it's clear, it's uh, a clear inkjet decal water slide, it's not going to show in this cup. So I need to spray paint some white here and let it dry. Okay? So we are going to, I'm going to spray paint it and I'm going to come right back, okay? Okay guys, as you can see, I spray painted it. Don't worry, it's not ruined. So I spray painted it because clear water slide, you will not see over a dark uh, cup or surface. You have to have a clear surface for it to be able to be seen. So with that, we're gonna put this on here. So let me get my water. I have my water and I hope it's not too too warm but just in case let me put some of this cold water because you don't want it to be too hot too warm or too cold now the water is room temperature and this is dried enough to touch. So what you want to do is put your image in the water. Let it sit for a little bit. Okay, I see it lifting from the paper. So hopefully it's okay. Yep. So now what you want to do put a little bit of water so you can move it around your cup so it won't there you go so you now you see how it you see it now if this was just a blank 
if this was a um, the cover if you want to put it on this cover you would not be able to use clear um, water slide so now we're gonna I'm gonna try to use this and just go go gently over it to get all the water out of it you have to make sure the water is out from underneath it because water and epoxy does not mix they're not friends try to get all the air bubbles from underneath it out this you're gonna have to wait I will say wait at least overnight for a couple hours because you still can have water underneath it and you won't know it so you want to make sure don't rush this part just let it dry overnight at least, at least for a couple hours okay so we have it down so now well I'm gonna let this sit now I'm gonna try to get all this extra white off and this is what you do you can get a paper towel you can get a regular towel anything that you're gonna get rid of or throw away or whatever you are gonna take well, move that out of the way alcohol I have 91% alcohol and spray it on it and just rub it and get the extra off that's all you got to do you see how that's going and that's all you got to do try not to hit your image because to be honest I don't know but I believe that it will come off so you don't want to do that You just want to, it's going to be a little tough. So you're going to have to use elbow grease. <laughs> Work that arms. So I'm going to clean this off and that's all you do. So I'm going to clean this off and come right back, okay? Okay guys, I'm back. Alright, I have a confession. I messed up my water slide. I tried to get as much white out of there. Oops. And when I did that, I went and scratched my water slide. So I had to scratch the water slide and use a sticker. So these are the stickers. And these are stickers, uh, label stickers that you get from, um, or sticker paper that you get from Staples. They're uh, generic or they're just regular Staples sticker paper. And I just print it out on it and you do the same thing. You seal it with clear sealant three times let it dry so everything is the same it's just the paper and you don't need to spray paint underneath so this would be easier for you if you had sticker paper so all right let's get this started so you turn it on And you just put it on again just like you saw earlier me do of the video earlier on the video <clears throat> excuse me you can tell if you have it on the cup it will it'll go a lot easier when you smooth your finger over it If you wanted to put a name on it or something like that, you would do it the time you do your decal, your image. 
but I'm not doing the image. I mean, I'm, not, I'm only doing an image. I'm not doing words. So this is perfectly fine by putting the resin on now. But again, if you want to put words on it, a name on it, a quote on it, you want to do it before you do this part of the resin. If not, it's no big deal if you didn't and you decide later to do it. It's no big deal. You just have to do another step of epoxy, that's all. Make sure you get around the top. Make sure it goes over the edge. You want to make sure that's sealed in. Whoops. Don't do that. Okay, let me turn the heat gun on. And just pop your air bubbles. Okay, as I see it going around, I can see that it's not enough over my image. So I'm going to add more. And again, this is uh, self-leveling. The epoxy will level out as it turns. Okay, guys. That's it. Okay, we're going to let it dry. All right. Okay, guys. It's done. So let's move this out of the way. And here we go. Now that is a nice tumbler. So you all you have to do is go around the edge with your Zacto knife and just clean it up. That's it, guys. So there's my Groot. But I keep saying Groot. It's Groot. Groot? Yes. So, what you guys think? Tell me in the comments what you guys think. If you guys like this kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up so I know to keep on doing them. If you guys are interested in purchasing cups from me, please leave me a message. Okay, guys, until my next video. Bye.